All right, all you crazies, it's time to get down with the small mole, a super popular online strategy that many think is unbeatable with the moles. I don't think it's unbeatable, but it is really strong. So the whole premise of the small mole is we're not going to build buildings. And the reason we're not going to build buildings is because when a building gets destroyed and you're the duchy, it sucks. It's going to prevent the game from sucking. Let's take a look. You're just going to kind of recruit a lot on your turn and then start swaying ministers. And it's kind of boring, but it works. Bird song. Place our warrior in the tunnel. We get two actions. Our first two are going to be recruit, recruit. And then we're going to sway ministers. So we'll reveal one, two. We got pieces here and here. So we're okay there. And our first minister we're going to pick is the marshal. Um, and that move is going to be really important because we are going to be spending most of our actions on recruit. This will give us some more flexibility on where we need to go. You do have a bird card in this scenario. This was randomly drawn. I don't really like bird cards for the duchy. But you could spend it and you could lose it. Um, and you could get a, uh, a triple card. Uh, mole. I don't know what are those called. Nobles. You get a noble. Uh, but I don't really like that strategy as much. It's a little bit tougher and it's a little bit less likely that you're going to get all the cards you need. Alright, so I add my little crown get my vp and we're not gonna be doing any crafting with this strategy so at this point i'm getting another card oh great another bird card okay round two because we did two recruits we get one in the burrow that's great it's gonna put us to four and we're gonna do our classic recruit recruit so we got six little guys sitting in that burrow there which is fantastic uh we now have the marshal Marshall gives us a lot of flexibility because we can take a move. So, at that point, we're going to sway ministers. So, we are going to have to spend one of these. Uh, so, these two are going to be revealed. We have pieces there. And then I'm, I'm going to spend this bird card. And we'll turn it into a bunny. So, we swayed a three-card minister. And we're going to take the brigadier. So, brigadier, our first noble we got out there. Which gives us two VPs, putting us up to three. And then uh, what I like about him is you get two moves or two battles. Um, that just gives you a ton of flexibility. All right, third round, looking at our cards. We got two foxes, so we're going to have to move into a fox. First things first, let's get a warrior. Uh, then we're going to go back to our classic recruit, recruit. So we have tons of warriors in the burrow. Everybody's scared to death. Uh, and then at this point, we're going to do a move. We need to get to a fox clearing, so uh, we don't need this yellow clearing, so we're going to go there. Um, and basically now, let's say that there's pieces here, I would use the Brigadier to attack twice. Maybe you can get some VPs by killing a token or a building, something like that. And then we're going to get the Lord, who really is responsible for making this strategy effective. So first of all, we get three VPs for putting the Duchess of Mud in play. And what it's really going to do is it's going to allow us to score two victory points if all tunnels are on the map. And then we had to spend this ambush card. So we had two fox clearings with pieces in it. We got a mice clearing and the ambush will turn into a bunny. And that's how we got the Duchess of Mud out. All right, here we go. Next round, this is where it gets fun. All right, so we still have to replace a warrior in our burrow, which is going crazy now. Um, we're going to do two actions, which is going to be dig. And we'll spend this one here. And then we put this card out. And we can go on any of the fox clearings, but I'm just going to do this for example purposes. Get our four warriors there. And then we're going to spend this card to get another tunnel out and move our four warriors there and this just is really where it's fun to take a move take up two actions um two attacks you can take additional moves if you need it you probably won't but the real important part here is you score your two vps for your duchess of mud um when you're making your actions there so that's really cool now that you got these out you got about three different strategies you can do from here on out you can try and sway all the lords uh for vps you can do the mayor-banker combo, 
and discard cards to gain VPs each round. Or you can sway the captain and kind of move around the board and battle. You have a lot of troops, and you're going to have a lot of ability to uh, use those troops in different areas. So, hope you like the strategy. Smash that subscribe button. Peace!